The National Museum of Toys and Miniatures welcomes you to Transportation Toys. Transportation Toys make our imaginations go zoom. When we're playing with them, we can pretend that we're sailors, train engineers, pilots, or are traveling to far off destinations. Transportation Toys can also shape our understanding of history and current events. Let's explore some of the transportation toys at the National Museum of Toys and Miniatures. The first railroad track in America opened in 1830 and was only 13 miles long. Since then, trains have captured the imaginations of children and adults alike. This tin plate dart locomotive was made by Whedon Manufacturing Company in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It would have originally had a pilot, also known as a cow catcher, on the front, and was steam powered. Also available for purchase were a tender car for fuel, a passenger coach, and a set of scenery pieces to cut out made by lithography, a method of color printing. Around the same time the first railroad in America opened, another form of transportation emerged in England. Taking its name from designer Joseph Hansom, the Hansom Cab's driver sat high up in a seat in back and spoke to the riders through a small door on top of the closed carriage. The cab became extremely popular in London after being improved by John Chapman in 1836 and was also introduced in the U.S. in places like New York City around the 1870s. This toy horse-drawn handsome cab was made in Germany in 1895 and can be seen in the Toys from the Attic exhibit. The cast metal wheels carry an enameled tin carriage with glass windows. Only 11 short years after the Wright brothers flew the first successful airplane in 1903, airplanes began to be used in World War I to observe and gather important information. The Wiz Skyfighter dates to around 1925 and looks like the biplanes that would have been used during the war. In order to help soldiers identify friendly planes in the sky, countries develop their own unique symbols for the wings. The marks on this toy plane resemble one of the identifying marks used for the United States for a period of time. The Wiz Skyfighter's wheels and propeller are moved by a system of five gears and a key. This toy can be found in the Toys from the Attic exhibit. As road transportation continued to advance in the early 20th century, Toy carriages gave way to toy cars, and garages and filling stations were needed to service them. This American-made roadside rest service station is made of tin and was produced around 1935. It can be seen in the Toys, Inc. exhibit. The two gas pumps at either end of the service station would have had glass globes that lit up. Children could drive a toy car up on the platform, raise it with a lever, and activate the light underneath. With such realistic details, it was easy for children to imagine themselves as hardworking mechanics. Along with cars, trucks were becoming popular modes of transportation as well, and toys followed. Between toy pickup trucks, dump trucks, tow trucks, and more, the wide variety of uses for trucks created endless imaginative possibilities for children. This fire truck is from 1955 and is made of lithograph tin with a plastic ladder. It can be seen in the Introduction to Toys exhibit. As cars and trucks became more common, road systems needed to grow. President Dwight D. Eisenhower signed into law the Federal Highway Act of 1956, creating 41,000 miles of interstate highways in the United States. This lithographed 3D tin highway viaduct toy came with three metal wind-up cars. It was made in Germany in the 1950s and 60s and reflected the world's growing fascination with highway travel. With vehicles cruising the highways and planes soaring in the sky, people began to look to the stars. NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, was created in 1958 in hopes of furthering the United States' exploration of space and with the goal of being the first country to successfully land an astronaut on the moon. This toy was made around 1965, a time when space travel and exploration had Americans young and old dreaming about the future and imagining the possibilities. Only a few short years later, in 1969, 
The United States changed history when the Apollo 11 and its crew landed on the moon. This flying saucer is made of lithograph tin and plastic. A spinning disc inside produced sparks that could be seen in a series of windows around the edges. You can see this toy in the Toys from the Attic exhibit. Now that you've heard all about these transportation toys, test your knowledge with this quiz. How long was the first railroad track in America? A. 5 miles B. 7 miles C. 10 miles D. 13 miles The first railroad track in America was only 13 miles long. True or false, the three metal cars of the Highway Viaduct toy are battery powered. If you said false, way to go! The Highway Viaduct's cars are actually wind-up. What can children learn by playing with transportation toys? A. Imagination B. History C. Understanding of current events, D, all of these. Children can learn all of these by playing with transportation toys. Thanks for joining us for this TM2Go video. Now that you've explored our collection, download the instructions to create your own water bottle airplane. Don't forget to share your creation with us on social media and share the activity with your friends.